All right, guys. Seems like it's a weekly or every two week occurrence. We got a new release. There's a great cadence right now for releases with Tesla. And we've got the latest version, version 12.3.6. And we're going to take it out, take it out for a test drive on our regression test path. Let's do it right now. It's going to recalculate, put the cameras up. And we're coming up to our first turn to see how it does. Looks like it's trying to shoot the gap here and squeeze in between this car. I'll keep an eye on the proximity of the curve just to make sure it doesn't do anything silly. And hopefully it goes nice and wide here as a result of that. Still stopping well short of the limit line, then creeps up. It is clear to the left. It can go, but it's creeping out just to see more visibility. I'll let it do its thing and go. Good job. Manhole cover, can't avoid that, but good job. Good job on turn one. A little bit different because the approach angle was different because they tried to shoot the gap there, but still effectively the same cautious, you know, uh, competent turn. Coming up on our second turn here, let's see what happens, see if there's any regressions, if it tries to drift into the bike lane or it makes the proper turn like it normally does in the last two builds. Slows down nicely. Good job, good mile an hour, above 10 miles an hour. Good proximity to the curb, good to go. All good on turn two, winding road. Good job, turn signal is still on, can't get around that. Still stays close to that as well, still close here, right? Same thing, uh, I'll flag it just for consistency, but effectively uh, it's the same thing every time. No changes, which is great. Again, if it's not getting it better, just make sure it doesn't get worse. So it's pretty consistent in that regard. Good job on this turn. Car coming. Good job going around it. Excellent job. Piece of cake. Easy peasy stuff for you, Tesla FSD. Coming up to our unprotected left. Stopping well before the limit line, then it'll creep up. Two cars to the left, one car to the right. Has an opening, all clear to go and go. Perfection. That's the way to do it. Amazing. Good job getting up to speed. Does what it does before. Again, the, the predictability is the key here. It's doing the exact same things for the last two or three builds, which builds confidence to let me know that this is what the car is going to do. This is what the car is capable of doing. And again, just gives me that, that reassurance that I, I have a, a sense of where it's going to go and what it's going to do for this particular test path or for similar paths that have some of these similar conditions. Great job. Slows down nicely, doesn't try to go around this person even though it can't, even though it's thinking about it. It can go that way, but it shouldn't go that way over the uh, double yellow, which is what it wanted to do for the bus the last time. Thought about it at least, so. I'm not going to judge it based on its intentions. I'm going to judge it based on its actions. Good job. Good mile an hour. No one's around, so it kind of hovers more towards the limit, uh, the speed limit. Good job slowing down at the last minute. Light turned at an awkward angle, at an awkward time, meaning that uh, it was kind of still proceeding forward. Then it turned yellow, then red. No big deal. Seems like it's still using friction braking, but I'll get a better sense once we go past these lights down here. Uh, for those that are just tuning in, um, the issue before was uh, it's using too much friction braking and not enough regen braking. So the braking seems to be a little abrupt, feels abrupt in the car. Another abrupt stop just because the light is turning. We're getting bad timing on the lights here. Slows down competently, no problem. Doesn't like screech the tires or anything like that. Still just a little bit aggressive because it didn't anticipate the light turning. Would love for the, the, the vehicles to have communication with the lights. I know some cars have that, have had that for a while where they can sort of tell when the light is going to change and have a little timer counting down to when the light's going to change. All that good stuff. Would love to have some vehicle to X communication uh, where the car can, since it's, since it's driving itself or semi driving itself, uh, can communicate with the lights and it knows when it's going to slow down. So it kind of preemptively slows down because it knows it's going to change. Same way that a person reads a yellow light from a distance, slows down accordingly. Right now, it sees the yellow light and kind of keeps its, its momentum going forward until the light turns red. Then it wants to come to a stop. And that's where I think the abrupt stops come from. Uh, so just to make it better than a human, 
it would have communication with the lights where it can sort of read when the lights are going to change, have that predictability for the car so it can slow down and prepare you accordingly uh, just to make it that much better, that much safer. Green light. Good job accelerating. Good job staying center to the line and biased towards the double yellow, which is what it should be doing. It's great. Great anticipation of the cars that are coming up here and biasing towards the double yellow, which is what it should be doing. It doesn't always do that, but most of the time it does do that. Um, also on this build, we got uh, the Vision Auto Park. I'm going to do a separate video for that where I compare and contrast the regular Auto Park to the Vision Only Auto Park to see how it, how it compares. I'll do a separate video on that, but it's pretty cool that we've included that with this update, even though it's not on the main, main branch of all the latest and greatest features. All right, all done with the traffic lights. Now we're coming up to our final turn, staging the turn in the right lane, trying to squeak past these cars here, which it can do. It can turn on red. Let's see what it decides to do. Inches up, creeps up, it's gonna go for it. Great job, great distance from the curb. Excellent job, ooh, person there, ooh. That person, it kind of slowed down at the last minute. It was kind of a blind angle. It caught it at a weird angle where I think the cameras couldn't see her behind the car. But it did slow down. And let's see what it does here. Coming up to our destination, the pin is a little bit weird from, from a map data perspective. Kind of pulls over here. I'm going to stop it here and make the turn. Kind of wanted to pull in front of it last time it turned down the street. So the pin is a little bit weird from a map data perspective. I'm okay with that. I would have taken over anyway. I don't expect it to, you know, valet me right now uh, and then go be banished, if you will. Uh, but that was pretty good. All right. Uh, pretty good drive. Pretty straightforward. Meant to be simple. Meant to be uh, consistent and meant to be able to measure in detail the difference between each individual build from 12.3.4, 12.3.5, 12.3.6, so on and so forth, being able to see exactly what's changed. So based on that, the drive was pretty good. Overall, from a comfort perspective, I'm gonna give it a nine, back in the nines, extremely comfortable, even when it kind of slowed down for that pedestrian at the last minute. It was a little awkward just because that person wasn't walking across the street and almost got hit, but it started to proceed, again, with that momentum of thinking that the car was gonna keep going and it could sort of, that person could keep walking and not be interrupted with their walk when they time it right. That's what people typically do in this area. So it was not nothing wrong with it, but the car did kind of slow down in a reactive moment to say, hey, there's a person there. Should I stop? Should I not stop? Wasn't uncomfortable though. So from a comfort perspective, again, nine there. In terms of confidence, did everything with excellent confidence. I'm gonna give it a nine as well. Uh, in terms of decision-making, right? Made great decisions all around the board. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine as well. And then in terms of safety, felt super safe. Didn't do anything wrong that made me feel uncomfortable or unsafe. Uh, didn't complete c commit any unsafe maneuvers. And again, that pedestrian situation was a little bit different. That person just kept walking behind that car and kind of wanted to time their walk. So I'm not going to harp on that too much. So decisions and safety, they're also going to get nine. So safety is a nine. So nines across the board, once again, still a high value uh, uh, build right now. No major regressions for this path. And the, the score is based on this drive and it's completely subjective. Uh, we'll do more drives, see what happens, check out some of the drives that we did where it got lower scores uh, and see how it fares there with that one and see, you know, from there. But our next video is going to be about auto parks, so stay tuned for that one. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this drive. If you have this build, what do you think about this build? Is it better than 12.3.5 uh, or is it the same? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.